this video we are going to create an amazing moonstone photo effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun glowing and amazing so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and sorry for tomorrow and the previous day because I was a little busy. Uh, I was nominated for a laptop in our government government scheme and uh, that's why I, I was out of city. But last night I was came back to home and now I'm back to work. So let's just start with this effect. Let me just show you what we can create with this. This is a simple image. After applying a brush, uh, this is the heart selection. So someone asking about that, what is a heart selection and how to do this a heart selection. It's a simple trick. You can simply just, uh, heart selection is simply, uh, you just need to select a brush tool. And let me just go show you an example. Uh, this is hardness, okay? So this is all about uh, selection. So like if you turn it to zero and make it a little bigger so you could see easily. Now, this is a, we can say soft selection okay so it could be applied only on those layers which are directionals or we can say uh, directional uh, actions okay like for uh, left right and these type of actions so which we, we could easily apply it so on those type of actions we can do this soft selection and what if we want to make a hard selection so hard selection can be made by using this hard selection like this is a hard selection okay so this action only works on on which uh, where direction is not important or direction is not uh, used so it could easily detect the edges of these selections like this is an edge of selection so it could the action will be work on these edges so sometimes you do some uh, you suppose you did a small brush and you did it like this the image is not so much HD then there will be an error that uh, your uh, paths are not available it means that when you are making these type of uh, hard selections first thing first you notice that all of these selection, uh, selections create a path okay so first of all uh, this will create a path like the, in this way these edges so if you will make it smaller then the path will not work okay because it needs one pixels at least to work on that so try if you are using a high definition image or lower definition image so try to use a bigger brush more than 100 pixels okay like 100 pixel and you can easily create paths and zoom it in and it can create paths you can see that so this is in this way you can create a hard selection so selection can be made different styles like this uh, rectangle or you can uh, select a polygon lesser tool and make sure that your feather is zero pixels okay so sometime you just work on any other image and you leave this uh, feather to about 15 or 12 or whatever you did but uh, when you come back to your uh, this type of you you want to use these actions and when you use this type of work uh, there will be a soft selection okay so you are worried about why I am my action file is not working so well so make the heat feather 0% or at least one pixel okay it uh, it's a uh, zero pixels and now you will feel that and you will see that it is a selected with hard selection okay now let's let me just show you uh, when your feather is uh, maybe seven pixels or 16 pixels so let me just show you the difference between both selections so let me just fill it and you can see that this is the difference between both of these layers okay you can see that these edges are very clearly sharp and these edges are blurred and little soft so the edges are not visible so uh, at all and that this is the difference between hard and soft selection so in this video we will create a hard selection okay so i know it's not a name but i just pronounce it with the hard selection because i like to because it's a nice pronunciation so okay so when we'll create a selection when we will uh, fill the area and after applying our actions it will look like this okay so the default action you, you can see that it's not so impressive just need some changes what we can make changes in that so you can just increase matte shine or decrease matte shine this is a basically a flare or color overlay and you can change even colors there are different colors options like uh, this one this one is pretty amazing this one there are lots of color you can uh, play with in these colors so you can combine colors like this one looks fiery you can combine these colors gives a little 
amazing look to your images and uh, it all depends on you on your choice so you can create a com combination of colors you can create single color use it's all depends on you so let me just go with these two colors because it looks more uh, magical so you can even desaturate that and uh, change the other settings like these color settings so or you can even change the uh, light uh, light session so press alt control and just close all these groups at once and let me just check so this is what you can edit in that let me just close all these groups because there are lots of groups you can uh, copy these to increase the saturation look at this it's all uh, about your uh, lining look at this just copy them these are speed lines and uh, it will make a big difference so let's just increase the dots and uh, uh, this is an extracted image so it's all depends on your choice like these are angulars you can just turn off them uh, instead of uh, showing them so this is a color glowing overlay so press copy you can change everything in that and let's just move to the next step to see what else we can create and you can see that this image okay so after creating selection and when we will apply our effect it will look like this same as we can change the color options default color is not so well so just need to change a little color corrections like this sorry this one this one or this one 5d as well so it looks more interesting uh yeah no uh yes let's move to the next image let me just close this panel and move the next image so today we will use this image it looks more interesting and look at this filling with that color and applying our effect and well you will uh, when you will get the answer uh, look at the uh, color options here are the color options you can change almost everything here like uh, colors I love this color okay you can use this one or this one it looks more matching to this the more saturate the more it will look more great so you can e even increase the sharpness of this image so let's just close and we will delete that group delete the brush and let's just start our work so basically the image was a little smaller like uh, the original image size was uh, like this was the original image size but you can see that when we we'll apply our actions the result will be maybe some outer so we would increase the room of this uh, image so we'll press c call up your crop tool click and we'll increase the sides to capture more details in a single image so click on check mark and that's it don't need to fill these sides if you want to you can do it just simply just click on this one side and press ctrl j ctrl t and increase the size same thing we'll apply on this side press ctrl select the background layer press ctrl j ctrl t and make it outside so select both of these and press ctrl e so that's it now we want to create a selection so go to quick selection tool and as in previous tutorial i just create a selection like this we will select outer area because it will do a nice selection now we'll size it up and we'll press alt and we'll select a selection so basically at this time we are selecting the background okay so simply just uh, do it after that we will create a little magic and you will see that uh, take these all sides into actions so we could get more fabulous results great take a care take care about selections because all of this uh, all of your image depends on this selection so once you played a nice selection press shift and we'll add this and same thing add this side that's it i think so we have done our selection side so good now what we'll do is uh yes maybe sorry about the traffic in advance it's the day time and the traffic is almost on the road so click on this layer mask thumbnail and press ctrl i to invisible and you can see that it will invert the layer mask thumbnail and the selection will be around on this image so now right click and click on refine mask 
to refine our hairs so we'll use this zero all settings are zero so good now decontamination is off and click and size it up a little bit just brush it over your hairs and clone finger that's it this is what you need to do a simple work okay so nice and uh, what we'll do is we'll simply just brush over the sides like this that's it i think we don't need to mess with these sides so this is our basic work so click on ok and delete or instead of deletion we just simply click this layer mark thumbnail click on delete and oh sorry we don't want to apply click and drag and delete that this will delete only this side visible this area will delete and apply this one okay so you could get a cropped image create a new layer above this and we will fill this with simple any color just press ctrl and click on this it will create a selection around this and press alt plus backspace now press ctrl d and selection is made it very nicely so press ctrl e mm, uh, sorry uh, visible this and now press ctrl e then it includes our background now we'll go to layer new and background from selected layer okay and name this layer as brush as in lowercase and go to this layer uh, layer panel and go to panel options and make sure that it is clicked on this uh, this one and all these are add copy to copy it layer and groups so hit ok now need to time time to load these actions so click on this play button if you cannot see this action play button so click on this window and go to actions simply and as i already loaded this so we'll go to uh, this icon and go to load actions and we'll just go to our where are moonstone actions so when you will download that file there are two versions in that there are cfcs uh, this is for cs3 version and this one is for cs4 plus it means that you can use it in cc and cs6 so we are trying in cs6 extended version so click on this moonstone and click on load so when you will load that it will look like this so click and extract that now you can see that at the first it is purge it when it means that when we'll play these actions before playing actions we don't need to go to edit or go to purge so it will automatically purge that and you can see that the brush name is as it, it is mentioned in this action so time to run these actions so we'll click and play this button and wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete just click on this uh, icon and you will see that it is done so we press ctrl alt and click on this moonstone group and it will close all these groups so now it's time to give some corrections so it could look more fabulous so go to color options and simply just turn on this one oh sorry it's a desaturation and just turn off this this is the default one applying our effects like this and this when you're fine with some colors like i'm fine with these colors i think so uh yeah i think it's it's it, this one is nice so if you want to create your own color corrections it all depends on you and let me just show you what we can more edit as i showed you previous uh don't need to do that just delete that okay and speed lines are accurated and what else we can edit so it could look more amazing so i think it's uh, enough or undo that let me just check this glow is much better let's just see the large bricks so good or you just undo that it looks more nice here so this is what we can do in these actions you can do more things in these uh, using these actions uh, they are different uh, random of uh, uh, we can say that uh, solutions for this image so <coughs> sorry it looks uh, you can give it more amazing look and uh, one question was that why your photoshop cs6 doesn't have this 3d menu so the reason is that 
Photoshop CS6 only uh, provide 3D uh, menu in Photoshop CS6 extended versions only. Okay, if you are using Photoshop CS6 regular version, it cannot be found in 3D or there will be not a 3D option. So if you want to use extended version, look at this. This is a extended version. Uh, you can see that Adobe Photoshop CS6 extended. Okay, so 13.064 bit. So if you want to use these uh, uh, 3D menus, you just need to download this CS6 extended version. So only that way you can uh, use these uh, 3D menu and uh, Maybe in CC uh, it, this problem may be fixed because uh, I've I never seen there is no menu in that. So I hope you like this video and subscribe my channel. Uh, we'll meet in our next video and never stop and keep learning.